All right, so we've got the Tickets WooCommerce add-on installed and configured and the license key is plugged in, so now we can actually begin using it. This screencast is going to walk through the process of setting up your first ticketed event on the dashboard of your site. Now it's important to note that for this screencast, I am going to be adding tickets to an existing event. I'm not going to be creating a new event, but the process is exactly the same regardless of whether you're adding tickets to an existing event or creating a new event and adding tickets as you create it. I just don't want to waste your time having to watch me create an event and add in all the basic details, so I'm going to go with an existing one. Please do understand, and I cannot drive this point home enough, that it is exactly the same process, regardless of whether it's a new event or an existing one. I'm going to come from the dashboard into my events list over here in the left-hand section, and I'm going to select the event that I want to modify. It's going to be this first one, the monthly tribal council meeting from February 1st, 2023. I'll edit it, and since the title and description and everything else are already in place, all I'm going to look for is the tickets panel. You'll see that that appears right here. First, it gives me the option to upload an image for the ticket header, which was not an option in the pre 2.0 releases of this add-on. So this is a new functionality, and if I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the image. I'll go into my media library and see if there's one that I'm satisfied with using. Might as well go with this one. I have this option to set it as the ticket header, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit set as ticket header, and it'll show me a nice example right there. Then I get down below, and I actually have the option to add new ticket. This is where I'm going to set up my first ticket. And unlike the Eventbrite tickets add-on, with this add-on, you can set up as many tickets as you want entirely here on the back end of your site. When I hit add new ticket, notice what it brings up. It gives me the field to actually create my new ticket data. And right now, the cell using is going to default to WooCommerce, and that's going to be the only option I have. This may change in a subsequent build. We're eventually planning on adding Eventbrite and other ticketing solutions into this framework so that you can pick from the radio buttons which one you'd like to use. But right now, since WooCommerce is the only option, you don't have much choice there. Where you do start to have choice is when you get into fields like ticket name. I'm going to go with adults, and I'm going to give a ticket description of adults are always welcome. The price, I would enter a price here, or I could just go zero or make it free by just leaving nothing in there, but I want to actually add a cost. I'm going to say that the event is going to be 15 bucks for this ticket. I can also decide whether I want ticket sales to start and end on a specific date at a specific time. As this message down here suggests, if you don't set a start or end date for ticket sales, they're going to be available from the second you publish until the event ends. If you want to set a specific realm during which those tickets are available for sale, you can do it up here. And you can see it gives you quite a bit of control. But if you want to just leave it open from now until they sell out or until the event ends, you can just leave these blank, which is what I'm going to do here. I also have the ability to determine how many tickets are available. As the message indicates, once they're gone, this ticket type is sold out unless you go in and manually add more to the stock. Let's say that for these adult tickets, we have 150 of them. And if I want to set up an SKU, which is a unique identifying code that allows me as a site administrator to kind of keep track of tickets and where they're going, where they're coming from, I could add that. This is pretty behind the scenes and isn't going to add a huge bit of value for you unless you're actively using SKUs, but I might as well throw one in here so you can see it in the example. Let's go with RLADT. If I have youths, I'll do RLYTH, etc. This will just be my internal way of keeping track of the different types of tickets. Once I'm satisfied with it, I'm going to hit save this ticket. And it will work its magic and kind of push me back up to where the featured image is. Once it does that, I get a message saying your ticket has been saved. I can see the details of that ticket, and I can actually go in and edit it. I can delete it. I can edit it in WooCommerce, which means I'm editing this product over in the WooCommerce product page. It has nothing to do with our interface, and it's not something we can support. Generally, if you're going to want to edit it, and you're going to be doing it in the standards that we're reviewing in these primers, you're going to use this basic edit option. I can also view the ticket on the front end, and I can run a report to see how many of these have sold. What different types of tickets are selling if I have multiple variations? Things like that. We both have a ticket by ticket report and an event sales report, which is system wide. And we're going to show you all of these in a subsequent screencast. This one, I just wanted to walk through the setup process. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You can add additional tickets as I see fit. It's going to bring me back to this little pop up. And basically, I can continue to add them and set whatever specifics I want. If I decide I don't want one, I'll just hit cancel and I'll wipe it. But you can see the process right here. The ticket header is going to be the same across every ticket for the event, so you cannot have this be specific to different tickets. But we know right now we got this ticket header in place. I could remove it if I want to, and it is going to show on the adults ticket. When I publish the event, we'll know the event will also have this featured image. We'll know that the monthly tribal council meeting is the name of the title, etc. Let's take a look at how it looks now. And you'll see, we actually are showing that ticket ability right there on the front end. I'm going to walk you through the purchase in a subsequent screencast. Don't worry about it. But now you got the process of setting up. I'll see you in part three.